All right. And then I think those are the last three things. Um, they all have to do with kind of termination and dismissal. So one thing is how to terminate the contract early and the pen penalties for doing so. So if you don't want to um, stay for the whole year, if you have problems or you like you need to, you just don't want to finish the contract, how can you terminate? And if you terminate early, what penalties um, happen to you? the offenses, which may lead to your dismissal and contract termination, um, and how, and also then also how to extend the contract and any benefits for doing so. So I'm gonna show you some examples of how it might be written in a contract. Um, again, this is the EPIC program contract. So it has article nine, a clear section about resignation. So the employee shall perform the duties set forth under article three hereof during the, oh, this contract is binding unless the employee gives 60 days written notice of termination. And this will obviously vary from contract to contract, right? Sometimes it's 60 days, sometimes it could be less 30 days, um, it could be more. Also depends on the law of the country that you're going to. Usually they have this in labor law written down. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and then also what happens? So failure of the employee to give 60 days written notice of termination to the main school um, leads to, uh, then you will be reported to the Korean Immigration Service and shall affect the employee's ability to freely enter the Republic of Korea in the future. So as you can see, this is a very serious thing. If you don't do this properly, you might end up uh, getting deported, your visa might be canceled, you might not be able to return to Korea in the future. So this is something very serious um, for yourself to know how to uh, properly you know, give notice and terminate your contract early. Um, so that you don't get into trouble because that's that's annoying, right? We don't want that. Um, unless you hate it so much that you don't care if you can't come back, um, then I guess it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, another example here about renewal. So how to go about to renew your contract um, and also the benefits of doing so, very important. Usually there's a benefit, right? If you renew, um, either you get a higher salary or you get like a bonus or something like that. Um, and here it also states in this EPIC contract that the renewal shall not exceed one year. So you can only renew for another year, another year, another year. It can't be longer than that. Obviously this depends um, on the school, varies from school to school. This is what it's like in the EPIC program. Um, and then there is a contract renewal allowance of 2 million Korean won. So that's actually really nice. Um, 1.3 Korean won will be paid within one month of the beginning of the new term and the remaining 700,000 Korean won to be dispersed after the successful completion of the contract. That's really nice. I didn't know that. So if you, and two, 2 million won is about just under 2,000 US dollars. Mm. So that's really nice if you um, sign up for another year. In case of the termination of the renewal contract within the first six months, um, the paid leave specified in the foregoing clause shall be unpaid. All right. So just some things about renewal and termination. Um, here, another contract about termination. Oh, why the employer might terminate you. This is that part. So obviously, if you violate any laws of the country, here it's Republic of Korea, for example. Um, if you don't have a visa, if obviously they would kind of know before, but maybe if your visa got canceled or something, if you don't have a visa, if you don't have the correct kind of visa, for an English teacher, you need to have an E2 visa. So if you have another kind of visa, it might be a reason. And then also, obviously, if you fail to perform your duties, right, um, for more than five working days without receiving prior consent. So, and also any of the information provided in the employee's application is false or inaccurate. So this also depends, obviously, from uh, school to school, country to country, but it's usually pretty much similar stuff 
obviously if you fail to perform your duties if you violate the law things like that then you might be terminated so yeah just something for yourself to know right thanks so much for watching we are ITTT, the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.